you'll be pleased to know um, that we do consider both the Tooth Fairy and the Easter Bunny to be essential workers. Um, but as you can imagine at this time, of course, they're going to be um, potentially quite busy at home with, with, their, with their family as well and their own bunnies. And so um, I say to the children of New Zealand, if the Easter Bunny doesn't make it to your household, um, then uh, we have to understand that it's a bit difficult at the moment for the bunny to perhaps get everywhere. But um, I have a bit of an idea that maybe in lieu of the bunny being able to make it to your home, you can create your own Easter hunt for all the children in your neighbourhood. So if you're one of those homes that's had a teddy in your front window, um, maybe draw an Easter egg and pop it into your front window and help children in your neighbourhood with their own Easter egg hunt because the Easter bunny might not get everywhere this year. Hi everyone, um, just uh, coming to you live now from uh, the Beehive where I can tell you it is very, very quiet again. Um, I'm here because um, on a Sunday I do a press conference with the Director General of Health, Ashley Bloomfield. What I also shared at uh, the press conference today was just the difference that all of the measures that New Zealand has been cumulatively taken has made. So for instance, the border closures, um, that early move on mass gatherings and so on. Uh, when we um, went into lockdown, uh, there was modelling at that time that assumed by this time uh, we would have as many as 4,000 cases. So the fact that we've got just over 1,000, I think, gives you a sense of the difference that everything everyone is doing is making right now. So I just wanted to share that because I know every time you see new cases, it's easy to feel disheartened. It's easy to feel like it hasn't made a difference, um, but it really has. And you can see that in those predictions around where we could have been, but where we are now. Kia ora everyone, I'm just checking in on everyone's um, Saturday and um, Saturday early evening uh, as we move into uh, now a couple of days of being in self-isolation as a country. Um, I'm coming to you hopefully um, before uh, that mad rush for those who are parents out there before that mad rush of um, dinner um, dinner time. I uh, thought I'd catch you before all of the, the nighttime routine um, kicks off. So just so you know, I'm here again in um, the office at Premier House. Um, and some of you might have uh, might have seen me show people around this um, before. So, and uh, this is the space, of course, that every other prime minister before me has occupied. And so it's got little signs of that having been used by others, like the fact that this hefty desk that I'm sitting at, um, the hefty desk that I'm sitting at now. I'm going to be be honest. I struggle to get my legs under it. So uh, I've got a question here about will it last longer than four weeks? The reason we were really upfront about the four weeks um, is because we have to get through a cycle of the virus, if that makes sense. There's a lag to COVID, and you will have noticed that um, from the discussion around how long it takes before people are symptomatic and so on. So the effects of what we're doing now, we won't see the benefit of for 10 to 12 days. We're probably only just seeing the benefit of some of the changes we made at our border coming through now. Uh, and so that's why we've given it that four week time frame. Um, but you'll see from our numbers and what we're learning from our cases, whether or not we're on track. So um, whilst I can't give you an answer now, um, I think that that will um, hopefully become obvious as we go along. Um, let me know if there's anything you have concerns about um, otherwise, I'll take the messages I've got here as a guide of the things that we should be following up on, and I will do that ASAP. Till then, thanks for joining me in my little home office. Use the casual um, uh, attire. Um, it a, can be a messy business putting toddlers to bed, so I'm not in my work clothes, so forgive me for that. We're keeping going the people that we need to look after your health and your safety. Um, so, of course, things like... Um, our medical professionals and the people who are still um, policing New Zealand. Uh, we need to keep going our efforts against COVID-19. So that means, you know, we're still making face masks and protective equipment uh, and things like that. And thirdly, we need to keep going the services that are going to help you um, and all of your family be well while you're at home. So medical um, supplies, pharmacies, access to money via the banks and supermarkets and GPs, of course. So those are some of the principles around essential services and the things that you'll still be able to access. But by and large, we're very keen that you stay home, that you stay within what we call your bubble. <laughs>